thank you dear friends now i was waiting for my team to arrive <coughs> my project director veera muthuvel associate project director kalpana and the mission director srikanth they are on the way and also the center directors who are the backbone of this mission in fact i must have them before i speak uh, so we are very excited to have this mission succeed in achieving the soft landing and all of you know it is not an easy task at all uh, it's a work of last so many years maybe for chandrayaan 3 it's a work of last 4 years but for chandrayaan 2 that was a work of many years back and uh, the learning that we got from chandrayaan 2 of uh, our unsuccessful attempt to soft soft land has really helped us in perfecting the uh, the methodology and also to have large number of experiments plus to prove the process of landing and it has paid dividends today and we had a very soft landing and it actually achieved most of the nominal conditions for the landing including the velocity of touchdown in fact i didn't get it exactly possibly my team will be able to tell them uh, the ex the velocity was far less than 2 meter per second it actually gives us a lot of confidence that the health of the craft will be very good and we will be able to continue with the experiments including the pragyan rover coming out and then doing all the experiments so we are looking for the very very exciting 14 days from now for chandrayaan 3 and as honorable prime minister has mentioned it is not chandrayaan 3 alone it is for future scientific exploratory missions this is the beginning of uh, a golden era that's that is a message i get from what our prime minister told <clears throat> so we are looking for launch of aditya l1 now next month and also the launches of many other science missions including the mission for the human space flight as well so thanking each one of you for your support and i cannot tell you the type of uh, uh, that that excitement that is created in the whole of india every school child every school every village every mohalla is excited by the shock, showcasing of this uh, landing videos and broadcast and all of them are praying having lot of pujas and homas and other methods of prayers suitable for each one of them to for the success of this mission and i want to thank each one of you for your your excitement your love for the nation and for whatever we achieved today it's for all dedicated to your uh, yourself and for your courage and strength to support us thank you so much isro is planning many missions in the coming days uh, our immediate mission is aditya l1 and aditya l1 spacecraft is a mission to study the sun especially the corona of the sun the processes that take place the satellite is called aditya l1 it's already integrated and, and it has moved to srikota and possibly it will be integrated with the rocket very very maybe today tomorrow and we are planning to have a launch on the first week of uh, september everything is going as per plan and after the launch and this launch will go to an elliptical orbit and from that it will travel to the lagrangian l1 point which will take almost 120 days plus <coughs> and it will be placed in that orbit and it will do continuous observation of sun unobstructed by the sun moon or earth so that is what we are trying to do there are seven instruments on board aditya l1 now i let me complete some more some more of the missions the next mission which you are trying to do is the gaganyan uh, uh, abort mission demonstration using a test vehicle for this also the preparations are very well going on we are targeting to have it on in the end of september or possibly first week of october so everything is going as per plan after that we have a gsla mission for insat 3ds that the weather forecasting mission we also have mission in pslv which is scheduled now and we also have to have the sslv d3 mission which is the third development flight of gsl sslv so this much is for a short time of next 3 months and further years i should not announce at this moment because we are working very hard to achieve those targets thank you so much agle 14 din mein agle 14 din mein hamare ye rover hai na vikram rover vikram landa vikram landa ke health health conditions humko humko check karna hai iske baad the rover the pragyan rover will come out pragyan rover ka will come out in next uh, maybe few hours sometimes it may take one day as well depending upon the conditions then it, each of the instruments will be deployed there are many instruments there is an instrument called uh, remba which will be deploying to study the 
geophysical parameters of the regolith. Uh, then there is an ILSA which will measure the seismic activity. Then there is, no sorry, REMBA is going to measure the, uh, the atmosphere, the charged atmosphere of the moon. And there is a chaste which is going to pierce on the surface of the moon and then measure the thermophysical properties of the regolith. Then we have a uh, ILSA payload which, is, uh, which will be lowered from the moon. Uh, craft that is Vikram, it will be lowered using some ropes. It will touch the surface and measure the seismic activity on the moon. And once the Pragyan rover comes out, there will be two important ex experiments. And two of them, both of them are linked with the elemental composition and chemical composition of the surface of the moon. The first experiment will be using a laser beam. We will send a laser beam from the rover on the material. It will fuse it and then it will generate some spectroscopic information which will identify elements there. Another experiment is related to an alpha particle which will be emitted by the radioactive material sitting there and that will generate certain X-ray fluorescence on the surface and that will be measured to find out the chemical composition. So these are the main experiments that are on board Chandrayaan-3 now. Shall I answer in English? Okay, so uh, see the, the most difficult part of the mission is to launch itself. See the GSLA Mar 3, you should not forget that GSLA Mar 3, LVM 3 has done the job of putting it in the right orbit very first time. It uh, went to 36,500 kilometers from that. We did all that up to translunar injection, it worked very well. And, re and captured on the moon. So the first critical event is the launch. The second critical event is called the landing and capturing on the moon. If you miss it by your calculation, then it's gone. We have, we cannot retrieve it and there is no mission. So this is a second critical mission. The third critical thing is called this separation of the lander and the orbiter, which happened in the appropriate time. This is again after so many days of spending in orbit, the mechanism has to work without any problem. So it worked very well. And the last critical moment is of course that you have watched along with us. That's it. You. Okay, success of Chandrayaan-3 meaning for, for the future exploration. I think it's all clear to you. I don't have to tell. See, f when, when it is such a tough journey for going to moon and landing, soft landing, which is very difficult for any nation to achieve today, even with the advancement of technology, and we achieving it in just two, two missions. The first mission had a narrow miss, and now we achieved it so perfectly. It gives confidence to configure missions to going, not only going to moon, going to Mars, sometimes land on the Mars, maybe in the future going to Venus and other planets, and, and also sometimes go beyond uh, uh, asteroids and others. We should think about it. I think you should all support us to plan such missions with a very, very cost-effective mission. Nobody in the world can ever do like this what we do, and nobody will be able to succeed maybe in the minimum most attempts. So I request each one of your support, encouragement. The whole of the nation should be behind us to do this. Mushkil da, mushkil da. So we Hello. we went through Sir. we went through lot of pain and lot of agony. I you I must tell you the people behind Chandrayaan two are still there. They are part of the Chandrayaan-3 team. I think none of them you know today, but the project director of the Chandrayaan-2 is a senior reviewer of Chandrayaan-3, and, and most of the people who are in Chandrayaan-2 are with us, helping us to do the Chandrayaan-3. So they are part of this, and they have gone through such an agony of understanding what went wrong. It went about almost a year of, of uh, thrashing them to find out and looking at the data so much. And we, the whole of this team, they, I, didn't think, I don't think they would have slept very well in the last so many years. Uh, I think the credit goes to the, those people who have uh, spent enough amount of time. But equal amount of time has been spent by our seniors, uh, some of the retired colleagues who sat with them to find out how it can be improved this time. So my salutations to all such people who have, those are unsung heroes today. They are not in the, not in the seat, but my congratulations to all such people. Sir, sir, Ra Raju Misra from Rajasthan Patrika. Sir, here. Sir, here. Hello, hello. Sir, sir. Sir, sir. Uh, 
see, Honorable Prime Minister was kind enough to call me, and uh, he connected my name to the Chandrayaan mission. Of course, I am very proud of that, and uh, <coughs> and he conveyed his uh, greetings to all the scientists in ISRO for the wonderful work they did. Naturally, all of us are proud of that, as I mentioned earlier. And he is very clear about the long-term vision. He wants to make sure that we remain very, very dominant in the area of space exploration and science. It's important for the nation. He is so clear about the Amrit Kal when he was put forth. And we have presented him these ideas and concepts. And I'm very hopeful that he will be supporting us to continue these missions, exploratory missions, science missions, in addition to what is important for societal and, com and commercial needs. Thank you. See, she is asking about the cost effectiveness of this mission, and uh, I think I don't want to explain all the secrets because if I tell the secrets, they, others will learn and they will become very cost effective. It, see, ISRO already strong. Sir, it will be. Uh, sir, Rajiv Mishra, yeah, hello, Rajasthan Patrika. Rajiv Mishra, sir, hello, sir, Rajiv, sir. Uh, sir. Sir, 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 here, 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 sir, sir, here. Say we must also thank, uh, I think there is a question on who all help, helped us to achieve this mission. And we must thank all those nations which came forth to help us in Chandrayaan 3 mission. Uh, we had support from uh, USA, the NASA, the support from ESA, uh, as well as uh, uh, our uh, uh, colleagues in other scientific organizations in this country. Especially the support came in form of uh, ground stations, the tracking support, you know. In, from India alone, you cannot see the Chandrayaan 3 all the time. We need other ground stations. One in Australia helped us in Canberra. One in uh, New Narcia helped us. One in UK helped us. And another in NASA's uh, uh, control. And all these ground stations were beaming the data to us. Uh, and we were able to get a lot of information, real-time information, uh, and command uplink. Everything happened because of this. The second help came from uh, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory of uh, NASA, JPL. And they were also estimating the position of the Chandrayaan-3 very accurately using their uh, technology and passing on the information to us, which gave us confidence to work on the mission design, trajectory design of the final phase of the mission. So thanks to all of them for their support. Sir, 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 you can ask them sir, the question. Sir, sir, sir. Please, one by one. Please, please. 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 Please, don't restless. Sir, here, here, sir, here, 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 sir, 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 two questions, sir. Sir, my two questions. Sir, my two No, there is a question sir, to me. Two questions, there is a question to me about the technology strength of what we have done. And I must uh, also tell you that the technology that we have in Chandrayaan is no far less complex or inferior to any other technology that goes to the moon. So we have the best of the sensors of the world, the best in the class in the Chandrayaan 3. And uh, I can tell you one story of Chandrayaan 2 to Chandrayaan 3. There is an instrument called the laser Doppler velocimeter was added in Chandrayaan 3, which was developed by one of the laboratory of ISRO. And this is a world-class instrument capable of measuring the velocity. And our cameras, which are put on board, developed by uh, Space Application Center Ahmedabad, gave those beautiful pictures from the moon. And the inertial system package, which measures the orientation velocity made by the ISRO inertial system center. And our rockets, are one of the best that put it in the right orbit. And we will have engines and liquid propulsion made in India by LPSC, the Liquid Propulsion Center of ISRO. So it's a made in India craft. So the, the, the capability that we have today is as good as anybody. देश विदेशातील प्रत्येक घडामोडींचे लाइव अपडेट मिळवण्यासाठी आता साम टीव्हीच्या सर्व सोशल मीडिया प्लॅटफॉर्मला लाईक फॉलो आणि सबस्क्राईब करा तसा सर्व नोटिफिकेशन साथी बेल आइकॉन प्रेस करायला विसरू नका